Hey everybody, what's going on? Josh here with Scrapyard Films, and today I got another Magic's Vegas Pro 16 tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to make your footage look like it was shot through a security camera. You know, those old CCTV cameras that look like they were recorded on a VCR? Well, I'm going to be showing you how to do that. So to start you off, I downloaded a clip off YouTube that shows some actual CCTV footage so we know what to compare it to, and I'm going to roll that clip for you. That's the kind of footage we want to go for. And here's what my final product looked like. Now here's that clip without any kind of effects on it. So if you want to make your footage look like that, then stick around and watch this tutorial. If not, I have a bunch of other tutorials on my channel, and maybe one of those is going to be what you're looking for. Okay, all the effects are off, and we're going to get started. Another thing is we're going to be achieving this look using Vegas effects only. So you don't need to download any extra plugins to make it look like this. Right off the bat, I could tell this is definitely not 1080p footage. So we got to simulate bad quality on a good quality video. The color is very off, the saturation's off, it looks blurred, pixelated, and there's that timestamp up there. So we're going to have to replicate all of that. So to start it off, the first video effects we want to choose is pixelate. Now I made a preset right here, so you can drag your default on there, and then we're going to go ahead and compare. So the pixelation I used is 0.6 horizontal and 0.6 vertical. I'm going to compare it with it on and off for you. So you can see it really pixelates the footage and makes it look not even HD anymore. So the next thing we want to do is we want to kind of get rid of the lines in those pixels by blurring them a little bit. So we're going to go up to Gaussian Blur, and then you can go ahead and drag the default on. So I've enabled Gaussian Blur. But the thing about this one is you want to keep these numbers very, very low. But at 0 .0015 I found is the perfect sweet spot. So let me show you what that looks like with those off and on, off, on. So you can tell right off the bat that this video quality looks tremendously lower, almost stretched out, kind of like that old footage. Third thing we want to do is take away the color. Right now i got a pretty vibrant color setup right here. So we're going to be going to saturation adjust, and you can drag the default on your clip and I'm going to show you what the settings I used are. So I put my mount to negative 1. The center, I kept it kind of in the middle. I used 0.469. The spread, 0.468. So I kept those really close. The low, I dropped that on to negative 66. And the high, I got at negative 0.061. Now here's what it looks like with it off. Now I turn it on. And we lose a lot of that color, but we still keep some color. But it looks like it's just shot on older equipment. So the next thing we want to do is kind of simulate a TV screen. So we have a TV simulator in Vegas. That's the next one we're going to drop down there. We go to TV simulator. So this one, drag reset to none on your clip. Go ahead and match these settings. The detail zoom, 2.55. Aperture grill, keep it at zero. Same with interlacing, keep that at zero. Line sync, one and one, because you don't want it to move. Scan phasing, down to zero. Next one down, I really don't know how to pronounce that correctly, so I'm not going to butcher it. Keep that at 0.25. And then static, you have to keep that really low. I put mine at 0 0.01. So this is what it looks like with it on. And I'm going to flip it off. And then on. And then off. And then on. So I think it kind of gives it that more grayish film while still kind of simulating a TV. You can, you can see the digital static in the back. Looks pretty good to me. Now last but not least, we're going to add some film grain on there. Just a little bit. So we go up to the Fs. Do film grain. And you can just drag and drop subtle on there. And then these are the settings I used. Pretty easy settings. I put 0 0.1, 0 0.5, and 1. That's kind of the sweet spot I found after adjusting a little bit. So let me show you with it off, and with it on, with it off, with it on. It just gives it that older, rundown, aged look with the film grain. So all these combined together, I think it looks pretty dang close to this footage. Next thing is, you could tell this footage is not shot in 60 frames a second. Most CCTV footage is shot in 15 frames a second or below to save on memory so they can record a lot more. So with mine being so high frame rate, I'm going to drop it down in the properties down to 15. So I apply that, hit OK, and that's what it looks like so far, which has all the effects on it at 15 frames a second. Looks like just old footage, real similar to this one. Next thing is the timestamp at the top. So old VCRs usually used a digital font, and Windows doesn't come with that font built in, so you'll have to download it, but I put a link to that in the description. 
So once you have the font downloaded, if you install it, you have to restart Vegas for it to see it most likely. So once you restart Vegas, go to Media Generators, Legacy Text, and drag Default Text down here. Go to the font. We're going to highlight everything, and then click on Font, and then I'm going to type V for VCR, which is that font we used. So we're going to unbold it because these aren't bolded up here. Now we're going to put the date, 9-13-2018, space, and then the time. Let's do 8 p.m. So once we got the time in there, we're going to shrink it down, and it's around 34. Drag around here. You can see the text is a little bit more squished in than that one. So what we want to do is throw an effect on there. We can enable deformation, and then we're going to choose compress horizontally. So we do it just about like that. Looks pretty good to me. We need, may need to add a zero right here to make it look right. Okay, let's squeeze it a little more. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good to me. It's not exact, but we don't need it to be exact. So next thing, there's a little black outline around it. So we go back to effects, hit draw outline, let's make it black. Now it looks a little blurred and faded too, so we're gonna make it a little bit bigger. Looks like it's about that big, and it looks a little feathered. Maybe a little bit bigger when we feather it. That looks pretty good to me. And now we gotta match the color. So when you go to properties, click the little syringe button, and then we're gonna drag it over some footage and make it look kind of an ugly, dirty white. And that looks exactly like it right there. We go back to video effects, let's do the CCTV film grain, and then let's do the Gaussian blur. So I'm gonna do some micro adjustments with the blurring. We wanna do it a little bit more. I think it's point, how about 0 0.035? That looks pretty good. Maybe we could even fade it down a little bit. So we're gonna drag the composite level down just a little. Kinda of lighten it up, give it a little bit of transparency. 80%, 81% is pretty good. So if we do that, this is what our final product looks like. And it looks like my office was shot with a CCTV camera. So another thing is, this time isn't automatic, so if you wanted to change the time and make it look realistic if you're going to be using this footage for a longer periods of time than just short bursts, you actually want to duplicate it. So we'll drag this down, and then we'll duplicate it. And then you change the number to 9 or whatever it is, you know, one more minute in, ahead of you. So in the middle of your footage, it'll change and make it look legit. If you follow the tutorial, then you have successfully made your footage look like it was shot from an old CCTV camera. And if this video helped you out, you can help me out by liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. Those four ways, if you do all four of those to our videos, they jump up in the list and it helps us become noticed so we can produce more videos for you guys. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.